He should not be on the air right now. Absolutely, there's no reason. Where's my money? It's a fucking, it's a fucking pandemic. If they it give do, me my money, it, does, it, be- it, it doesn't matter anyway. It doesn't matter if you're on the air or not. Take it, your life does matter more. It yeah. does actually matter more. Let's talk quickly. I, I this makes me very uncomfortable because I, I do actually like this guy. Before we get to the other stuff, I don't like hearing Fred Toucher, my old rival. In morning radio, honestly, sound like this this morning. I, I don't think this is a good thing. He's on the air. All he hates aside. Jews. <laughs> I, I, I didn't hear that today? clip yet. I didn't hear that today. One. Jews are awful. Wait a minute. What is this true or no? <laughs> no, he's he's talking he's talking about what Nick Cannon is saying. Oh, we'll stop. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, but, I mean, look. At that. He's welcome to speak his mind. I don't, you know. All I want is. Is that I'm fascinated that you can attack Jewish people and not this is today there's or no? no repercussion, yeah. right? That's all I'm fascinated with. That's it. And and you know what? I'm right or am I wrong? I don't know. Oh, God. I mean, so Fred, I guess Fred announced he's getting a divorce on the air. There's something today. Yeah, but I'm I mean, getting you, a divorce. Okay. You you get in the divorce. That explains a lot, man. You yep. gotta relax. Just relax. Yeah, I gotta relax, relax about the whole divorce thing. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it's something that uh, it, that I really need. Over, Hang on a second, buddy. Hang on a second, buddy. Right, 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 one really... second, one second. So, I mean, like, you know, the easy thing to do, and I saw a lot of people on Twitter, like, oh, this is, like, I, at some point you have to say the guy is going, having, like, he's, I've talked to him in the past. He's had some serious mental, serious mental health issues. Like, Somebody has to say, get off the air. Rich was saying that. Um, well, I know, but that's not too Rich, long. But that's not yeah. Rich's job. And it took way too they're, long they're, for they're, that to happen. There's, you know, there's management for a reason. You know, oh, they, right. Like, yeah. They have to say you can't stay on the air anymore. Like, I understand this may be compelling to the listeners, but you're having a fucking... And I have no idea, but it sounds to me like he is um, compromised. Yeah, I guess like, I would have I would have tried to find it if I did. I only heard about it like ten minutes before the show. But I guess yesterday he walked out of the show because yeah, he didn't I mean, want to talk coronavirus. So or I something. guess he's. I think he's really strong. I think he's on some. Sh- personally, it sounds to me like he's on some painkillers. Why, why is it? Away. But okay. But why is it that I'm like uh, addicted to chemicals? Like why? Why is that part of it? I don't know. Uh, it's it's maybe the, what, what are they saying? The way you speak. Uh, I mean, oh, maybe slurring and this and that. I mean, slurring I mean, right there. I mean, I mean I, you are, know, you I don't... Me, are, are you kidding me? What do you think I did this morning? You think I got? I was late. What did you think I do this morning? I got up and had eighteen uh, uh, bloody marys. So I don't know. So I mean, like, I, you know, to me, I have no idea. I think he's on some kind of painkillers or some medication. To me, he just sounds like that. He just sounds slur, and he probably, and maybe he isn't. I don't know. Maybe something else is going on. See, I don't hear enough of him outside of the only time well, I ever hear him is when people communication say with him. That's yeah. the problem. Is yeah. Well, I sent you guys something like Friday, and I was like, I can't tell if he's doing a yeah. bit or if this is how. I mean, they should take. Him, they should take. I know. I understand it's fun for listeners. I've been in that situation where you're losing your mind, and everyone thinks it's fun. Everyone gets big ratings off it. I get it. He should not be on the air right now. Absolutely, there's no reason. Where's a, my money? It's a fucking, it's a fucking pandemic. If they it give do, me it my money, it, and does, it, be- it, it, it doesn't matter anyway. It doesn't matter if you're on the air or not. Take it, your life does matter more. It yeah. does actually matter more. Oh, and they're also still going to shit stomp WEI. Yeah, the it doesn't ratings, matter no who they what. have on. Yeah, it's, it doesn't matter. It's a fucking like, summer. It doesn't matter. Like I don't know what. I understand he's saying he wants to stay on, but he doesn't really want to do that. You like, could just it, fall asleep in the chair. The fucking management be, should. Yeah. I don't know what management's doing. I don't understand what they're doing. I don't get it. it I get they think it's fun. I don't know if they think it's a bit because even people no, over definitely. there have they, said they're a little worried. I think so. I don't. I don't know what. That's definitely the deal not. With. That's definitely not a bit. Well, see, the thing is, no, even, but even I, if that's he takes the only time a, I ever hear him is when he's talking like that. So I don't know what to make of it. If he takes a breathalyzer and passes a blood test, there's still the perception out there that he's on radio, shit faced. And he's doing yeah, things again, like again, asking I don't think for sex. I'm here with the two divorces. Like I don't, John, John I don't, I don't, I don't think he's, well. I don't think he's shit faced. I think he's on some sort of. I personally think he's on some kind of painkillers. Or right. Something. That's what I think. I don't, mix I, don't, of... I don't think he's drinking. I, I, I mean, I don't know, but I don't think that's what's going on. I think the guy's going through a lot. He's had real. Maybe he's just on some weird medication that's leading to this because I think he's fucking going through a lot. And, and I've been there. Or I've seen. I've done it. I've lost my mind. I hear that. And I'm like, oh, that is not. Com-. I get that it's compelling. I get that people want to listen to it, but that is fucking. Well, that's Hard why management's not stepping in. They're saying, hey, it's compelling. He claims he wants to be on air. Yeah, but he doesn't so want just but, but he doesn't, to be, But he doesn't want to be, though. Yeah, but they don't give a fuck. Well, that's, <laughs> well, that's the key. It's, that's, kind, right. it's the opposite of what happened to you. It's like you wanted to come back, and they're like, well, we'd rather he not be here, so let's just pretend this is best for him. Yeah, I just think they don't know. I just think radio management is just full of dummies. Like, they don't know what to do. They're like, we, if we do it, he'll get mad at us. They don't know what's going on. But that is fucking, that is rough to hear. And I saw people had fun. I get it. Like, listen, you're on, you're on air. That's part of it. 
You go on, people are going to react to it. They're going to make fun of you. That's life. But Jesus, that ugh, I did not like hearing that. I was dry. I, I almost, I never listened to that show ever. Drive. I drove and listened to it. I was like, this is freaking brutal. This poor guy is having a fucking breakdown. So we talked about this yesterday a little bit. And I found this to be an interesting study in how I, I just, and people say you're still focused on Boston. Radio. Not really. I live here. Like if this happened to a, the number one morning show in Akron, Ohio, I would find it very interesting as well if we had the sound. I was thinking that this morning I, because if I were listening to a podcast where it was just two guys in Chicago, even if I didn't know them, I'd be captivated by it. If they, course, Especially if the show wasn't course. mentioning it for some reason. Of course. And every, you know, I just, I mean, the, the, the business and the, the uh, whatever, the workings, the inner workings of radio are, are endlessly fascinating to me. They just are. They just happen to be. So Fred, we played some of the sound. Fred, yesterday sounded awfully compromised and going through a tough time. And I actually had, had you know, sympathy for him. I actually like the guy. So he wasn't. Jews are awful. Well, <laughs> Again. Fine, Steve. <laughs> Again. <laughs> He's a nice guy, we said. I love Steve uses somebody that pushes on the agenda. Just say yourself, Steve. <laughs> If we could get Greg Hill saying that, then play it as much as you want. To make it very clear, Steve, you are fine with Jewish people being in Saco, the, 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 the driving. Yeah, the more the merrier. Okay. <laughs> what do you yeah. mean by that? <laughs> he has him right where he wants. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> reverse uh, glorious bastards. He hates Jews. <laughs> That's Fred Tudger's commentary on the show this week. Well, it's 33% accurate. So, uh, um,. <clears throat> So they go on this morning. and So first of all, they don't. So you said, Mike, they actually took him off during the show? Uh, I'm told. Okay. I couldn't find the audio anywhere. I, Steve is the only person that has any audio of that show, it seems like. Well, Jerry yeah. called me yesterday. He said, where'd you get that toucher sound? <laughs> <laughs> like we played it. It was on that morning. We recorded it. I wish I. Oh, ooh. Oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Well, I didn't think about that, say, did you? Quite a salesman. Maybe not yeah. such a great producer. Maybe a better pool player. Yeah, it was. it was more, you know. I wish I had a producer with a brain in his head. And I was like, well, maybe if you weren't so negative toward our producer, we'd, we'd right. effort you some of that sound. But that I was like, so Steve's mean. You're not going to do that, Steve, are you? Well, a piece of shit wouldn't it do could that. Be, it could be a peace offering. I don't know. A piece of shit offering? Yeah, maybe. No. No. Why would you? It should, if he, should be on your end. If he if he sends me a message and uh, apologizes, right. yes. yes. He'll definitely do that. Uh, but he's, yeah, he'll oh, oh, down on Colin Ain. But There um, were some people reaching out for the sound. And I was like, yeah, we have whatever we played on the show. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm like, yeah, it's fine. So, uh. So, like Mike said, they, they didn't put any of it on demand yesterday. Nope. Which I do wonder if there are some legal reasons why they didn't do that. I suspect, oh, interesting. I suspect it was some of the commentary earlier before he starts talking about his divorce that uh, about Jews and Nick Cannon. And I think there was some stuff that made people uncomfortable. That was that same. So that show, that was from yesterday, the Jew thing? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But he wasn't, but he wasn't, but he was just saying Nick Cannon. But he, there was he some, was on the right side. Yeah, but there was, there was some, he was... It was dangerous talk that would make a programming director uncomfortable. It I could think. be taken out of context. Yeah, it could I be guess. taken out of context, but it was it was a little, uh, I don't know. It, it, you, you could misinterpret it, I suppose. It might also be, it's hard to believe anyone in radio would have a heart, but it might be what we were talking about yesterday where they're like, eh, yeah. why, why put okay. this out there? Well, that's not it, but yeah, I, I, there's, there's no you chance. Don't think so? No, they're <laughs> covering their own asses. That, that, yeah. No doubt. There's also very little benefit. It's not like they're going to make uh, no, a no, ton of money no. off of no. the downloaded no, 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 but I'm just know, saying, audio file. But, but they put up, I think, every day initially. They yeah. did. It's just to and they have in the past. The last time we played the the flu, flu, flu audio, that was put up. So so on. they're on this morning and, I mean, I was saying this. I talked to Jerry yesterday. I was like, I never listened to that show ever. We went against them. It's just not my. Sh it's just not a show I listen to. So I was like, I'll put it on this morning at six o'clock, driving to go run. I was like, I'll be curious to see, a if Fred's there. I was convinced he would not be, and he wasn't. Mm -hmm. And B how they would address it. And I don't know if you guys. Listen, it's the weirdest segment I've ever heard in my life. I listened after you said uh, they didn't address it, and they they then I addressed it, right? Yeah, briefly. briefly. Yeah. They said, based on what happened yesterday, Fred's going to be out for a couple days. Just play a little bit of the first segment. It's so weird. First of all, the open's like nine minutes long, and then they get into... It's it's, it's almost like you can hear the fear. They, of, haven't, they haven't posted it yet. They don't have oh, the, they haven't? They don't have the wine oh. back like EI. Oh, oh okay. So they just talk about... It's been 20, 15 or 20 minutes talking about Paul Feinbaum, <laughs> who's a, who's a, uh, a sports football. radio host in the South of college football, basically. He's on ESPN. He hates me for some reason, too. We fought with him once. I remember I that. I couldn't remember why. Something with the Manning family. I think I said... Yeah, oh, that. yes. The okay. Manning sexual assault. Right, 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 right. Yeah. And I think I said Archie Manning basically put his cock in his mouth or something. He didn't like that. <laughs> well, what can you do? So... Uh, I mean, you know, when you say it back, I can kind of understand. I said in, the ra in a radio way back then. <laughs> right. So um, they just talk about his callers to his show. I guess he has a show on what is the television's SEC network. Yeah. On cable, which I think I have, but I've never seen it. But you think about... 
the audience that you're speaking to, with a small percentage, would even know what the fuck you're talking about. Isn't it weird to talk about another radio or TV right. show? I guess when right. such a strange thing happened with your show a day. But they ago. don't even. But it's not even like funny. It's just weird. They both sounded the two guys, Rich and the other guy, both sounded so timid and like we can't almost manic. They're like we. There's this thing in the room we can't discuss it. So it was also that old radio thing where we don't talk about it in the first segment. We get back. We're going to address it. Like, you know, well, they yeah. didn't want to waste it at six right. o'clock. Yeah, like I really mad. So my thing was always, if you're good enough, then they'll listen to you. If you're not good enough, you have to rely, rely on gimmicks and teasing, then you're fucked. But so they, did you have the sound of them even talking about it or no? Uh, of them talking about, no, I, I, don't, I don't have any sound from this one. Nothing was posted. Okay, so you got nothing. So he, uh, I guess, so I guess he was basically did it really quick, right? Like Fred's not here and we wish her well or whatever. More or less. Yeah, yeah he's going to take a few days based on everything he's dealing with, that kind of a thing. And then okay. back to Pasternak talk, if I'm not mistaken. Well, he seems to be the go-to guy. He's certainly the <laughs> center of everything. Yeah. Well, then there was also a strange... I don't know if this is just the app, if, a, if there was a weird glitch with the app, but when I turned it on, Toucher was there. And I almost texted you and said, he's in. <laughs> but it, so they were playing like old an old or segment or something. But oh, it really? went on for a I've while. Never, yeah, I've never listened to their app. Oh, that's strange. I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. 